Hey folks, and welcome to part 12 of the Drill Dozer playthrough. In the last part, we pretty much gotten ourselves uh, kind of tricked and arrested uh, by the po uh, cops. And now we're at Clank Prison. And this uh, Area 5 holds the worst boss to me in the game to try to fight against. And we won't, although we won't cover it this part... We'll be covering it next part, so believe me, there's going to be plenty enough for me to say about that when we eventually get to it. But yeah, Jill got herself in a bit of a pitch. She uh, pretty much hopped on to a van that she thought was hers, and she got infiltrated by the police and got arrested. So yeah, there's that. So now we're dealing with the um, pretty much the police, and there's uh, Detective Carey. Um, she's, uh, yeah, she's pretty much back, uh, although we're not gonna be fighting her, and pretty much she's saying, uh, you can't throw that kid in the jail without a trial, and this guy is pretty much telling her to shut up and, you know, pretty much do your duties, what you need to do, and he don't want to hear any objectives that she has to say, but yeah, there's Jill, and she doesn't have her drill dozer, so, yeah, this is the first time you're really seeing her without it, so, don't worry though, we're eventually going to uh, reunite back with her, but man, she just looks all sorts of defenseless. You kind of feel bad for her, even though she's a little girl and, you know, got thrown in jail and whatnot. But yeah, our robot is pretty much the drill dozer. It's not really haywire, you know, but to them it is because it's moving on its own and stuff. And the reason what uh, the reason why it's doing that is because of the um, the red diamond that we have. So that's why it's able to pretty much move around. And it also has um, just the basic, um, you know, it, it has the basic duties of it. You can't jump that high with the drill dozer. You pretty much can't do that much with it. So um, you're only able to. Um, do half of his capabilities as mentioned before so we can't really do that much you know switches and stuff like that because we don't have a pilot but we can still do more than enough necessary and I'm drilling these things to see if I can find some chips and stuff but we can still go through doors and stuff this part right here just with the doing the drill by itself and um, just the drill those yourself it's okay it's not really hard um, as I stated before, you are limited on what you can do, so just be careful, don't go too overboard. Um, as you should be, and this is just uh, advice coming from me, you should have at least more than, um, your health should be right where I am, if not more, because you're going to need it, because the game only gets harder folks and you're gonna need your health to be up there you really do in order for you to have a somewhat comfortable uh, ride playing this game because I mean you could have it where it's just your standard health but that's only if you're like hardcore or trying to speed run or you're just so comfortable with the game that you could just do it that way I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you so you know this way just works fine with me this section right here can be uh, aggravating. What you do right there is you press the B button to pretty much just hide yourself in Candido uh, because those things right there are scanners. So if you stay out of its limelight, you'll be perfectly safe. But there's some obstacles here that's going to stop, pretty much stop you from being uh, in Candido and you have to pretty much just move it out of the way. Yeah, so and that's what happens when you. Uh, get into its limelight and this guy right now is just telling you that you know it detects the human body but it, all that you you could have just told us that in the beginning but since I already knew that you know that you from playing this level so many times that you pretty much have to hide yourself from these sensors and once you do that you'll be safe as you can see here but they every once in a while likes to put platforms or obstacles in your way and it just makes it go on for far too long but once you get past those sensors you'll be doing okay and then that see what happens when it goes off it just does that but you know what screw that I don't even care I'm just trying to get these chips you know 
because as I stated before, chips, chips are good in this game. It's your form of currency. It's what you need to do to pretty much just level up your gear and all that stuff. So as I mentioned this, and I'm pretty much going to be mentioning this multiple times, it's good to collect those chips. And whoa, that thing just zoom, zoom towards me. But I didn't care at the moment because, you know, I'm just trying to trying to get those chips. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, it just kind of sent me in what seemed like um, a circle, but it's not. It's another, uh, it's a, whoa, another thing was going way too fast. They like to trick you like that, folks. They really do with these. So, um, they have a set pattern. Just watch out for it. And once you recognize the pattern, it'll be uh, simple enough to do. As you can see, they're getting more and more, um, they get more and more bold with these, uh, sensors. So, you definitely have to be extra careful when it comes to trying to, you know, get, uh, move your way through this part. It's annoying, yeah it is, but once you get through it, then, um, you know, the rest of the level is just simple. So, you know, you're not dealing with that throughout, uh, the whole level and drill right in your face and then knock this hat off look like <laughs> but um anyway yeah it does knock the hat off they make a crazy face as they get drilled but then again I'm, I'm not getting into that whole drill uh aspect as we can see uh jill's right up there in front of us she still looks sad but yeah she she hears something so she was wondering what that was but she she heard something, but still, she just looks mega sad, yo, like, you know, and I stated before, this is our first time, um, traveling without her, so, you know, and it's only so much that you could do, I'm just trying to get those chips, so if you can get out of my way, sir, then I appreciate it, but I'll be able to come back later, you can backtrack to, you know, this area, just in case if you miss something, um, that you want to grab, feel free to, if you feel like it, feel free to travel back to this area and collect the, uh, goodies that you are probably going to miss the first time around, but, jeez, just get on the thing, jeez, that took forever, but, anyway, like, uh, you, you're going to have to, like, if, I guess if you want to, this thing right here is real annoying, what this thing do is just, yeah, you can't, you can't use your drill when you're, uh, covered in this goop, so you have to wait till it disappears and that thing just continuously shoot so what you want to do and what I should have did is um, you want to get rid of that machine you can drill into it so you'll be able to get rid of it but it serves as an obstacle right now and it's just annoying so as long as you keep moving I suppose uh, you'll be able to pretty much knock out that in enemy gauntlet but that's not the last that we're gonna see of those things they're they're all over the place here, but yeah, there we go, Jill's pretty much looking at the machine, so that's a nice attention to detail there, and yeah, we have, uh, yeah, see, it's the red diamond that was powering the machine the whole time, as I mentioned in the beginning of this, and there's a image of Jill's mother right there, so that's a pretty nice, uh, homage there that she's able to kind of see her mother like that, so that's, um, kind of a pretty touching moment right there and she's able to get back into her machine and we are once again able to go and we're we're at full power <laughs> once again you, you might as well consider it as full power but yep that's it he's explaining that um about the diamond so she passed away when she was a baby so yeah he's getting a little teary eyed the old man but Anyway, yeah, it's time to break out now, break out of uh, prison, so we're going to do that, and we already got a gear waiting for us, so let's go to, I haven't done this in a while, second gear, yeah, let's go to second gear, activated, but yeah, we, uh, we got our second gear already that quick, so it was nice for them to give us that, and kind of like the beginning of our jailbreak, so we wouldn't have to pretty much just deal with um, finding it now that we're out so that's always a nice little touch you know instead of being douchebags and making us look for it anyway well we're gonna have to do that with the third gear anyway so you know it's kind of a pick and choose but in this little section here I was actually lost 
for a little minute I didn't know where I was going <laughs> or where I needed to go so yeah you're gonna be seeing that just for a little bit as I try to find my way through and where I need to go exactly so as you can see it's kind of a labyrinth but uh, in all in all it's just like kind of like uh, whatever at this point you'll eventually find your way uh, to where you need to go because this level it's, it's not big, the confounds of this uh, place, it's not that big, but, oh man, it's just the, the, the boss at this just sucks so much, and I'm really gonna save that for another, well, to the part where we actually get to the guy, so, you, you are gonna hear another rage montage, folks, and as you can see that the detectors are no longer around, so we can't get spotted anymore. I guess, uh, I guess they blew up in the process. But this part, yep, our gelatin friends are back uh, in more ways than one, actually. So we have the jello blocks and these uh, douchebag things uh, here. So as long as you move around and you don't get stuck by any more, and these guys are just making it more difficult. If I can get these guys out the way, I'll be able to pretty much just... Uh, if uh, those guys go away, there we go. If I drill into that, okay, that's one obstacle out the way. Jeez, man, those things was making it difficult, more difficult than what it need to be. So I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to not get hit by this thing. This thing was making me nervous the entire freaking time. I'm just trying to get these chips, and this thing is being pretty much a dick bag. But this is where uh, it's dickishly placed right here. So. Yeah, if you just bait it towards somewhere else, it'll stay like that for a while, and then that's when you make your opportunity to get on these uh, jello platforms. So you have to do it quick before it changes its trajectory, if I'm even saying that word right. I think I am, but yeah, that one right there was being, I had just enough time to make it up there to, <laughs> to actually make it onto that platform, so good, but anyway yeah that part was aggravating but as i stated before it's not last that we're gonna see those things those things are annoying and they're everywhere so just hit this switch if you want to move that platform but i'm going up here um because there's something interesting in here that i want to check out so i'm going in here and in here is in here is another treasure chest I believe that you can um, access to just pull that switch right there and you'll be able to um, be um, able to find some treasure in this um, well not in this area particularly but in this stage and with that treasure uh, because we haven't been able to find treasure since um, well accessible treasure in the current gear that I'm in I haven't been able to find it since the ruins so yeah, it's good to know that you'll be able to, with just a little bit of work, you'll be able to find some treasure in here. I don't, treasure is just for like, I guess it's for completionist reasons, it don't really add any core value to just completing the game, but it's just something nice to grab um, if you want to go for like 100%. But I would like to see, um, I don't know if you folks are recognized, you probably do. But I would like to see the completionist. Um, I'm subscribed to him. You folks should subscribe to him as well. He he does fantastic work. If, in case you folks haven't heard of the completionist, um, basically the completionist is a guy who fully completes a game. He goes for 100% of the game. Oh man, you you are gonna. As I stated before, you are gonna hate that. Oh man, you're gonna hate this section so much, but I'm not gonna get into it until I eventually reach that. But anyway, um, yeah, the completionist is a guy who 100% completes a game uh, through and through. He goes for all the secrets that are available within a game itself. So, you know, if um, you ever wonder what a game you know is 100% complete and you didn't want to do it yourself that's the guy to go to um, just in case if it's some bit hit, hidden secret that you didn't know about upon uh, completing the game 100% so yeah he's the guy to definitely go towards if you want to find out what happens to a game when you beat it 100% so um, yeah I would love to see him tackle this game 
just 100 percent what do you get when you get 100 percent through this game because honestly folks this game in my opinion at the moment right now is not worth going 100 percent towards i do have certain games that i would do that for um no problem uh it, it's time consuming but you know there's some games that i would do that for in third gear yeah, like I said before, it's been a while since I actually pronounced any of the gears, and you folks are probably tired of hearing that, but I like saying it, so, um, anyway, yeah, so, if you ever wanted to see something 100% completed, that's the guy to go to, to watch it, just subscribe to him, that guy, he has a great personality, and, um, I wouldn't mind doing, you know, anything like a uh, video collab with that guy hopefully that'll be able to happen someday we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds so yeah but anyway yeah these air ducts here folks oh man i'm not getting into it now i told you i'm, I'm gonna save the rage folks i'm gonna save the rage so you won't have to hear me complaining about them anytime any soon until the next part the next part, oh man, you, you folks are probably going to get tired of me real quick, <laughs> but you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. This part right here, yeah, one shot from this guy, and from the thing he's shooting out, and it's game over. Well, it's not complete, you just have to restart the section, but this is annoying. What you have to do is pretty much just use your drilling skills, basic skills, and yeah you're just doing that back and forth he'll stop for a moment and that's your opportunity to pretty much just move when you have to move but that part was simple enough but if you didn't know that in the beginning oh man you're that's not going to be the only time that you encounter that guy so you're in for a rude awakening you better learn how to use that <laughs> you better learn how to use that drill real quick <laughs> I was laughing because of the guys they landed on the spice yeah they thought they had me at a surprise but <laughs> in actuality I had them but this is the part right here what I was talking about you're gonna need some skill with this one folks this guy's back and as you can see we can't exactly jump and avoid this guy so what you do is just a backwards zoom like I just did right there it's quick simple easy to do all you have to do is that it gets creative a uh, little time before so you have that I barely had time to actually move so I'm gonna kick it in the third gear and this part right here is a little tricky but once you zoom you have to do that so that when that little pause he does it gives you just enough time to avoid that guy from doing that but yeah, folks, I'll see you in part 13 as we continue with Drill Dozer. See you then.